Today, my 10 gallon kitchen aquarium gets one more guppy and two more algae eating residents. These guys are green gunk gougers and they're also some of the slowest creatures in the animal kingdom. Hello and welcome to Tank Tales, a beginner's guide to aquariums, aquaponics, and fish tank fun. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified each time I publish a new video. In last week's episode of Tank Tales, I added two small pandacori catfish to the 10 gallon guppy tank in my kitchen. Plus, I added this small, inexpensive timer to my tank light so that the light turns on automatically every day at 9 a.m. and turns off at 9 p.m. every evening. I thought that the pandacori catfish would help to make my solo guppy feel more at home, but the two different species of fish seem to care very little for one another. The guppy spends most of his time swimming near the top of the tank, while the catfish spend almost all of their time at the bottom. Once again, I felt bad for my little guppy, so I made another trip to the pet store and picked up a new companion for my little orange amigo. This unique male guppy with a gray head, black body, and a colorful orange tail fin. Like I've done with all of my fish thus far, I floated my new guppy in my aquarium for about 30 minutes in order to acclimate him to the water temperature. As soon as the new fish was in the water, my two guppies began interacting with one another, almost as though they were lost friends being reunited. After 30 minutes had passed, I carefully released the new black-bodied guppy into the aquarium with the rest of my fish. Adding a new animal to the tank always makes me nervous because I'm not sure how the new or established fish are going to react to one another, but there was really nothing to worry about here. My little orange guppy spent a few moments checking out the new fish that had been added to his tank, and my new male guppy was equally interested in the orange guppy he was meeting. In less than two minutes, both fish were swimming around the tank together quite peacefully, and I was sure that there would be no issues with my little guppies getting along in the future. A bond had been formed, and my little orange guppy was no longer alone. While things were going well on the top of the tank, things were not so hot down at the bottom. My new pandacori catfish were getting along just fine. They weren't quite as lively or as showy as the guppies swimming around at the top of the tank, but I was starting to see their unique characteristics start to display themselves. One of the catfish, the smaller, more reserved one, liked to hide behind the plants and rocks in the tank, and he scared me on several occasions simply because I couldn't find him. Just as soon as I had about given up hope of spotting him and thinking that he may have died and been eaten by the other fish, I would spot him in the rear corner of the tank or under the fake rock bridge, hiding amongst the pebbles on the bottom of the tank. Even though the catfish were getting along just fine, it looked as though the algae in my tank was continuing to grow. I made another visit to my local pet store and came home with what I was hoping would be a very simple solution two blue snails. After floating the snails in a plastic bag for 30 minutes, I carefully released them into my 10 gallon aquarium and watched with wonder as these slow moving creatures emerged from their fragile shells and began to crawl around and explore their new home. Everyone knows that snails are slow, but these blue snails are surprisingly fast in my opinion. While much of the time they appear as though they're just sitting there doing nothing, other times, the snails seem to dart from one side of the tank to the other. Well, not quite dart, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I looked it up on the internet and snails, maybe not blue snails, but snails in general, can travel more than 200 meters or 656 feet in a single day. And based on how small and slow moving snails are, I think that's pretty incredible. These blue-bodied, alien-like creatures can really haul shell when they want to. In next week's episode, two more fish will be added to the tank, and while these new guys look beautiful, they sure do have a nasty disposition. Did you enjoy this video about my very first fish tank? I hope you did, and I can't wait for you to see next week's episode. 
So, if you haven't done so already, be sure to smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon now so you're notified each time I publish a new video. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. That really does a lot to help me out, and I appreciate your support very much. Plus, I've created a hidden cookie of a video which you can watch if you want to see exclusive extended play footage of my new fancy guppy interacting with the orange guppy in my tank, and some super exciting action-packed footage of my two blue snails darting around their new home on my kitchen counter. If there was a product featured in today's video that you'd like to learn more about, or possibly even purchase for yourself, be sure to check the links in the video description below. I've added links to where you can buy the glass aquariums, the water filters, the fish food, and the plastic plants in the description down below this video. And did you know? I have a website too. It's called tanktales.com and it contains links to all of my videos, plus a ton of articles and information on how you can start your very own fish tank, aquarium, or at home aquaponic setup. Just go to tank-tales.com right now to check it out for yourself. And now it's time for the Tank Tales question of the week. What is the best type of snail to get for an aquarium if you want to combat algae growth? There are a number of snails you could choose from, but which type of snail is best for getting rid of algae? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you'll subscribe to my Tank Tales channel as I plan on adding new videos on a regular basis.